let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance. Don't make it like a stagnant pool. Hey concrete enthusiasts! Ever mixed concrete on site and struggled with perfect proportions? There's a better way. Today it is concrete mix made easy, Excel hacks for DIY projects IS456. I am P.S. Chaturji, and on this channel, today, we'll dive into the world of Excel to transform you from a mix guessing beginner to a concrete proportioning pro. Structural design only, a channel with different vision. Let's get mixing, virtually. And stay tuned. All right everyone, here's our virtual bridge across the river of concrete mix calculations. This handy Excel sheet will take all the guesswork out of getting your proportions just right. If you're new to the channel and haven't seen my previous video on DIY concrete mix on site using volume trick measurements, be sure to check it out. It provides a great foundation for what we'll be doing here today in Excel. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel for more helpful tips and tricks on structural design, even for DIY projects. We have a lot of exciting content coming up, and we'd love for you to be a part of the community. All right everyone, let's take a closer look at this spreadsheet. It's designed to simplify your concrete mix calculations and take the guesswork out of the process. I'll break it down for you section by section. First up, we have these variable parameters in blue. These are the values you can change to get the specific concrete mix you need for your project. The most important one is the final volume of concrete. This is simply the total amount of concrete you require for your project. Just enter the desired volume here. Next, we have the grade of concrete. This drop down menu allows you to choose the desired concrete strength, ranging from M5 to M20. Select the appropriate grade based on your structural needs. Finally, we have the buffer percentage. This accounts for potential material loss during mixing and ensures you have enough materials on hand. You can adjust this value based on your experience or site conditions. Now, let's move on to these fixed parameters in red. These values are predefined and won't change. Here, we have the conversion factor, 1.54. This is a fixed value used to convert the dry volume of the mix to the final concrete volume after it's mixed with water. Now, the exciting part. These cells here will automatically update based on your inputs. The first one is the dry volume of concrete. This value is automatically calculated by the spreadsheet considering the final volume, conversion factor, and any adjustments you made with the buffer percentage. Moving down, we have the weight of dry aggregates per 50 kg cement. This tells you the exact amount of sand and stone chips you need to mix with each 50 kg of cement for the chosen concrete grade. Next, we have the individually listed volume of sand required and volume of stone chips required. These values are automatically calculated based on the mix proportions specific to the chosen concrete grade. Finally, the spreadsheet automatically calculates the volume of cement required based on the final mix design. Down at the bottom of the sheet, you'll find the final results. This section displays the key concrete mix quantities you need for your project, 
including the amount of cement, sand, and stone chips required for the chosen volume and grade of concrete. So, as you can see, this spreadsheet is a powerful tool that saves you time and ensures accuracy when calculating your concrete mix. Alright everyone, now that we understand how this spreadsheet works, let's put it to the test. I'm going to change the values of some variables to see how the spreadsheet adjusts and calculates the final mix design. Now I am changing the parameters. Let's say the required concrete volume is 60 cubic meters. Grade of concrete, M5. Since M5 to M10 is used for rough work, I think it's better to consider an extra 4% dry volume of concrete as a buffer percentage. Buffer percentage of concrete, this equals 0, indicating ideal conditions. When the percentage increases from 0 to 4%, the cell color changes from green to light green. We also know the following. Unit mass of cement, varies from 1400 to 1600 kg per cubic meter. The average unit mass is 1500 kg per cubic meter. Unit mass of sand, varies from 1500 to 1700 kg per cubic meter. The average unit mass is 1600 kg per cubic meter. Unit mass of stone chips, varies from 1400 to 1800 kg per cubic meter. The average unit mass is 1600 kg per cubic meter. When we accept the average value of unit mass, the cell's color will turn green. We can also get the unit mass of the concrete's ingredients on the spot by taking a sample. Ideal ratio of sand and stone chips, 1 is to 2. We can change this ratio to 1 is to 1.5, to 1 is to 2.5. When we accept the ratio of sand and stone chips, 1 is to 2, the cell's color will turn into green. Now it's time for the final results for 60 cubic meters of M5 grade concrete. Look at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Here you'll find the following materials required, 5.925 cubic meters, or 202 bags of cement, 29.625 cubic meters of sand, 59.250 cubic meters of stone chips, and water ranging from a maximum of 12,087 liters to a minimum of 4,029 liters. This method allows you to calculate the materials required for a specific volume of concrete precisely and effortlessly. Alright, wrapping up our video on Concrete Mix Made Easy, Excel Hacks for DIY Projects following IS 456 2000 standards. Thank you for watching. I truly hope this explanation helped you understand how to utilize Excel for your concrete mix calculations. In the next video, we'll be diving into Clause 10, Production of Concrete. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more civil engineering content related to concrete construction. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And, if you know someone who might find this video useful, please share it with them. By the way, you can collect this Excel sheet, absolutely free. For details on how to get it, simply read the description below this video and follow the instructions provided.